So on the screen, you can see that we have multiple growth curves of COVID-19 confirmed cases for countries. We will find out some correlation between the country's confirmed cases and then we will fit an ERIMA model to predict our future cases for other countries. Okay, And we will give 7 days forecast for those countries where the pandemic is still evolving. Okay, So this is how the forecast will look like. And I will also explain the components of ERIMA like PDQ means AR, MA and I and AIC, BIC thing to select the best model out of multiple models. So this complete code is right now available on my GitHub so that you guys can directly start working with this one. Okay, so without waiting, let's jump into coding. So guys, first of all, we will import some of the libraries that I am importing over here. After that, we are doing some pre-processing on our data set. So this data set is being taken from the John Hawkins COVID-19 confirmed cases data set. I have given the link for this file in the description or also I will upload the base file on, on my GitHub so that you can just clone my repository and start utilizing this code. Okay. So what I did over here that I have converted this time series data set into dates and the country's confirmed cases. So as you can see, we have index as in days and we have the number of cases on the left hand side. So like US, we have seen starting uh, days also we had some cases. So this type of time series data set I have created. After that, I'm just plotting up the growth curves of COVID-19 throughout all these countries. So as you can see that we have country's name over here and we have some plots. So this is a simple plotting script. I'm utilizing matplotlib subplots to plot all these graphs at once. So as you can see that we have multiple type of growth curves for countries. For some of the countries, the cases have evolved pretty fastly. And for some of the countries, it was evolving in a very smoothened way. Okay. So based on the behavior of all these countries, we need to find out the country which have same type of behavior. So for an example, as you can see the plot over here, we have the orange color plot which is for Belarus and we have the green color plot which is for Belgium. For Belgium, the pandemic started long earlier than Belarus because now it has reached to the 84th day from the day we have seen the first case in Belgium. For Belarus, it has reached it till the 68th day, okay, uh, from the day the pandemic started on that country. So we still have the 61 to 84th day data available for Belgium that can be utilized to predict the behavior of pandemic for Belarus. This is only possible when till 68th day we have very high correlation between these two time series. So in that way, we are trying to utilize the data points available with us to predict the future behavior of the spread in the countries where it is right now starting or in the mid state. Okay. So in that way, as you can see, I have plotted all the countries spread rate. And after that, I am finding out over here the countries which have highest correlation for the starting days. So as you can see that we have Bolivia and Kuwait. For Kuwait, it has reached till 3,500 cases on the 64th day. But for Bolivia, we have reached till 48th day. But they have same type of behavior till the 40th day. Okay, so I, I can utilize the other day's data available with me as an exogenous or the additional variable to predict the future behavior for Bolivia. So as you can see, these are the countries which have very high correlation and we have additional more than seven data points available to predict in future. Once we have found out that which all countries have high correlations, then we are utilizing those countries data which have more than seven day data available with us. So here you can see that I have selected one country and this is the data available with us as an exogenous variable. I'm utilizing this data to fit the curve 
over here okay i am utilizing auto arima to fit the curve over here these are the ar component one this is the ma component one and this is the integration factor if you are doing the time series analysis in a traditional way you have to check the acf and pacf plot to find out the values of ar and ma component and you need to apply dickey fuller test to find out the integration or this i factor over here if you are not familiar with these words you do not have to worry because i am utilizing auto arima function over here which automatically takes care of all these things on background so it iterates to all the possible values of ar ma i components and also with the seasonal components we say and then on the basis of aic and bic these are the criteria for finding out the best model so as low as will be the value of aic and bic the better will be your model okay this function directly fits up your model and after that here you are generating the forecast so as you can see for generating the forecast i have to give the number of days i want to forecast then i have to give the exogenous variables so these are the seven data points which are available with us for those other countries this is the data frame looks like you have till 50th so till 53rd day you have actuals from 54th day you have forecast the lower interval for forecast and the higher interval for the forecast okay after that i'm just plotting these forecast with help of matplotlib so the orange line shows the actual cases and the forecast or the seven day ahead forecast is coming out from the model now i have added all these codes in a single script and i am running throughout all the countries okay so this best pair dot keys contains all the list of countries and their best correlated countries and then i am forecasting for all other countries okay so you can see that if there is some certain behavior which is present in the correlated data set that will also come over here while you are forecasting for these countries So guys hope you have liked today's video if you are first time visiting to my channel don't forget to press the bell icon and the subscribe button and all these codes will be available to you on my github i will provide the link in the description so take care guys i'll meet you in the next lecture bye bye